Does cracking your knuckles make your bones weak? सोच में पड़ गए ना बेहतरीन That's kind of the whole point of this new podcast. We want to make you think. Think about science, think about the world and most importantly, think about your body. We're going to bring on some experts to give you the correct answers and also to make you laugh. It's going to be a fun ride. Our bodies are multiple complex systems. Think of it, there's the skeletal system which supports the entire body. Then there are muscles which hold it all together. And on top of all of this is our skin which covers everything. Of course, there is the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, the digestive system and all of those other wonderful apparatuses. For today's episode, however, we will be speaking about the first part. We'll talk about the skeletal system. Does cracking your knuckles lead to arthritis? Is there a way to grow taller? What causes a disc to slip? And to discuss all of this, we have with us a very special guest today. Today we have Dr. Madan Vora. Born and brought up in Mumbai, he is an avid sportsman and has competed at the national and state level programs in cricket, football, and lawn tennis. His love for sport and his desire to be a doctor led him to his profession as an orthopedic and sports medicine specialist. Welcome to the podcast, Dr. Vora. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. So excited to have you here. There's so many wonderful questions that people have and so many complex questions that probably don't have answers. But it's nice to have, you know, a voice of reason and a voice of science because in all of this um, misinformation clutter, sometimes in their answers are open. So tell me a little bit about what led you to doing this and how you decided to get into this area. So, you know, uh, this is something that I've always wanted to do is actually put my voice out there. I've actually... Like you said, I've been an avid sportsman. I have always wanted to be an athlete and I've always wanted to be known in some form or the other. The day I picked medicine, I thought that is impossible. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think social media gives everyone a voice. It gives everyone a platform. So when I felt that I had this opportunity to put myself out there, use my medical qualifications to good use and actually break, you know, some stereotypes, bust some myths, put out valuable information for everyone out there related to my niche. It's something that I really, you know, really got excited about and I took to it like a fish takes to water. So super excited to uh, have gone through that journey. A lot of nice people who went through that journey before me like yourself and uh, you know gave us that sort of inspiration and courage to take that leap and yeah that's how we've reached this position talking to each other today so yeah great journey woohoo i love that so um i think my first question really is in terms of there's so much um, there's so much misinformation out there which i feel very confused by because as much as what we can do and what we can try to do to counter that misinformation there's still so many things that exist that honestly hum chit- we won't be able to bust. Yeah. So in terms of those, um, what are your favorite bits of misinformation or myths that you hear about our joints and our bones and, you know, our skeletal system? Absolutely. Like you brought them up, uh, you know, this is something that has uh, been passed on from generation to generation. The most common thing that we hear is about knuckle cracking and we hear this coming from grandmothers. You know, you hear people saying, yaar, meri dadi bol rahi hai ki knuckle cracking mat kar arthritis ho jayega. Yaar, meri dadi bolti hai ki usko arthritis ho gaya hai kyunki, you know, they have done this, this, this uh, back in the day. You know, another thing that uh, we keep hearing is hang on the rod, you'll grow taller. And they really think it plays a huge role in the person's height. So uh, there's there's uh, so many things that you hear on a day-to-day basis and I'm glad we're going to be talking about it today. Okay. So bust this myth for me yeah. and then we'll talk more about incredible things you hear on the internet. <laughs> tell me, tell me about this. Does cracking your knuckles oh. really do anything? So absolutely not. This is something that really needs to be put out there. And let me simplify it for someone who doesn't understand anything about the body. We all know we have joints. Now, what are joints? Joints are the position where two or more bones join in a particular manner. That is what a joint is. Now your I joint... I have a different definition of a joint. But tell me. Tell me. <laughs> we will be very polite. <laughs> this, this is uh, not in syllabus for me, but uh, maybe Qtris <laughs> can tell you more about it on another episode. Okay. So our joints now have a joint capsule. 
Now, when that capsule is stretched, now when does that happen? When you, let's say, bend a particular finger or you extend it, there is a negative pressure that is created. And because of that vacuum that is created, आपका जो synovial fluid रहता है, which is basically the lubricating part of your joint, उसमें gas bubbles are formed, nitrogen bubbles are formed. When you end up stretching and extending your fingers, those nitrogen bubbles, they crack or they pop. And that is the knuckle cracking sound that you hear. It's as simple as that. When that crack or pop occurs, आपको आवाज आता है और आपको लगता है, damn, is there something wrong with me? So the next time your daddy or anyone tells you, don't crack your knuckles or uh, cracking your knuckles is going to cause arthritis, you have this explanation to give them. It's just the busting or the popping of nitrogen gas bubbles within your synovial fluid within your joint. It's as simple as that. Um, so, is it like farting in your bones? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'll tell you why it's not like farting because you can probably go on a spree of farts one after another and ironically, you can't go on a spree of knuckle cracking. Okay, and this is very interesting because like I explained, once that bubble has been popped, it takes a certain amount of time for that bubble to be formed again. Just like a fart. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, it takes a certain amount of time, which is why you must have noticed that when you do crack your knuckles, you probably can't crack them immediately, at least in the, within the same joint, you can't pop the same gas bubble because it's going to take some time to be formed again. Yeah. Ooh, impressive. How's that? How's that? That's some bubble popping right there for you. That's some bone farting. I'm, it's, it's, it's forever going to be bone farting in my head. I'm joint sorry, farting, joint farting. That's a better term. Joint Achha, farting. Okay, <laughs> Be pedantic. Why don't you? <laughs> okay, no, but um, seriously, since we're talking about common myths about bones and joints that way, another thing that I hear very, very commonly is that you also mentioned this that latak jao kahin pe, like find a bar or find, well, not vesa wala bar, but like a rod wala bar. <laughs> Cuteris has different meanings for. <laughs> Everything related to exercise, sports medicine and orthopedics. Listen, I love the variety in life, okay? Absolutely. We don't have to do silo in our worldview. Done, done. <laughs> but, you know, like um, a rod you find or yeah. you, you find like a tall place and you just sort of hinge yourself from there. And if you hang like that, your body will get stretched and it's height. But is there any merit to this? I mean, something happens to it. Once again, absolutely no merit to this. You have to get to the end of your life, you have to get to the end of your life. इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है। So very frankly and this needs again needs to be put out there is your height is dependent 80 percent on your genes on your genetics you have your parents to thank or not thank for that depending on which way you want to look at it there are some studies that show that sleeping adequately a certain amount of hours resting properly exercising eating healthy nutritious food balanced diets all of that plays a small amount of role but I don't think we have reached that point where we can actually pinpoint and say do this and your height will improve. Whether you play basketball, whether you cycle, whether you hang on a rod, it frankly doesn't matter. Exercise in general will play a certain amount of role, but it's significantly, significantly smaller. So particularly hanging on a rod isn't going to make a difference. No. This is actually really interesting because you know, you see all of these ads in the newspapers ki ye wala tel laga lo ya ye wala jute mein insul laga lo ya ye wali dawai kha lo. I remember when I was younger, hum wo khate te. Calcium sandos aati thi, giraffe wali. Which was quite tasty for what it's worth. Absolutely. Uska sundar se giraffe ka bottle bhi tha. Aise Flintstones wale vitamins bhi aate te, wo bhi mein bhoat shock se khate te. But you know, it's really interesting to think about it that we've been fed this idea for so long. Instead of just simply saying exercise is good for फिर एक्सरसाइज कर ले यार नहीं एक्सरसाइज करो लंबे हो जाएंगे एक्सरसाइज करो पतले हो जाएंगे ट्रू since exercise is talked about so often I think one area that we always tend to miss out on or tend to have even more misinformation than usual which is a champion achievement भाई इतना misinformation एक सेक्शन में कैसे भर लेते हैं लोग particularly about periods कि periods पे ये नहीं करना है वो नहीं करना है you should be completely resting or you should be doing this or you should be doing that. There are such restrictions and then a lot of people say that you should not exercise on your period. And what's the science behind that? Science me up. Like, give me some real good information on this that... Are you sure? I mean, I'm not going to get any no uterus, no opinion. Listen, I don't like that. As long as we worship the altar of science, I like it. Lovely. Okay. I believe that when someone is going through their period, listening to your body 
is the most important thing i don't like to be on either extreme and say exercise mat karo i don't like to be on the other extreme and say exercise karo medically can you exercise you absolutely can should you exercise if your body is okay go ahead and do it that's the take that i like to have rather than say that exercise aapko karna hi hai aapke liye acha hi hai aapko karna hi hai coming to the benefits of exercise during your pms or your period phase of course release of endorphins natural pain killers can really help you go through the sort of painful phase again very easy for me to say not having gone through it but i can completely understand that this is obviously not a very comfortable time to actually exercise in terms of elevating your mood that is where it plays a huge huge role according to me apart from this i think it can really help relieve most of the other symptoms that those who menstruate actually go through once again should you do it can you do it totally depends on your current stage it could so happen that during one cycle you are able to do it and during another cycle you are probably not able to do it if your body demands a rest day give it the rest day it's totally okay you're not missing out on anything if your body feels okay do something now what can you do the idea is to do light to moderate intensity and volume don't overdo it you don't really want to push your boundaries during these couple of days you've got the rest of the month to do that anyway yoga and pilates great results during this time people are very very happy with it they genuinely say that it reduces their pain a lot they are able to really go through this phase uh, very comfortably because they have incorporated yoga and pilates so that is something that people can really try and incorporate however the takeaway would be listen to your body it knows more than you think and it will give you an answer i actually love that you know we're going into such detailed nuanced answers because very often especially on the internet you know especially in the era of like these 15 second videos yeah all of these incredibly complex topics have been re- reduced to 15 second ka reel banana or 15 second ka short banana jahan aap sirf bol sakte ho karna hai ya nahi karna hai utna bata do like the that's the only information absolutely and and, and i i feel like the more and more i learn about a certain topic the more and more i realize that you know answers are not so black and white there's yeah. so much nuance to these True. so thank you for answering that so beautifully here's another question which may not have this sort of nuance and i feel like it may have a very um simple yes or no answer actually <laughs> <laughs> since we are talking about periods and uh, very often you hear ki ladkiyon ko weightlifting nahi karna chahiye and you know you'll get bulky or Absolutely. you'll get too much testosterone in your body it's going to harm you it's going to hurt you so w- what does the sports doctor have to say about this weight training for women the sports doctor is a big advocate for weight training in general and for women incorporating weight training uh, that is something that uh, really pushes me every day to do what i do on social media because the kind of messages that i honestly end up getting is that i never thought i would exercise let alone work out let alone go to the gym and these are girls who are probably deadlifting as much as i do right now so that just makes me so so happy just how you get happy when people take the the vaccine the cervical cancer vaccine this is my happiness uh, when i get that in my dms you know girls or women who otherwise feel that they're going to get bulky you need to understand that your hormonal profile is very different from the man you do not have the amount of testosterone that men do you will not really get bulked up the way men do uh, you will get toned and at the end of the day you do want to get toned the other very important thing is that a lot of girls and women get into weight training and they've understood its benefits because they really feel that it's going to make their butt look better it's going to make their legs look better and they do it from the aesthetics point of view do i have a problem with that i really don't because it's getting them to exercise but the one thing that i want to put out there is that women and bone health is a massive massive discussion a massive massive thing that you need to keep in mind once you cross the age of 30 your bone mineral density keeps reducing once you cross the age of 30 could you explain what bone mineral density so is so bone mineral density basically our bone is made up of different kinds of cells to put it as simply as possible there are certain cells which actually help in the production of more and more bone there are certain cells which actually help in destruction of bone now our aim is to go about life to ensure that that destruction of bone process the rate is reduced so bone mineral density basically talks about the balance between the cells in your bones which actually help in production of more and more bone and the cells which cause destruction of bone so hame kya karna hai we have to work on factors that increase production of more and more bone and we have to work on factors that decrease the rate of destruction of the bone now how will you do that 
taking foods rich in calcium and vitamin D is one and second is exercise so especially in women and this is definitely more prominent after menopause because your level of estrogens also starts fluctuating that time that is why women experience what we call as osteoporosis which is decrease in bone mineral density which basically increases their risk of fractures so if you start exercising today your body will actually thank you 20 25 30 years later and this is more and more important for women than it is for men because women are the ones post menopause because of the hormonal changes they are more prone to developing osteoporosis so aapka jo bone mineral density hai wo 30 ke baad girne wala hai wo men mein bhi girega women mein bhi girega men do have that hormonal protection which women lose after menopause so the reason i'm trying to advocate it being an orthopedic is not because i want women's butts to look better <laughs> which i do that's a separate topic but because i want them to preserve their bone mineral density as much as possible i want them to reduce the rate at which their bone mineral density declines after the age of 30 40 50 for that you need to wake up at 20 25 30 not at 50 55 60 when you already come to me with a vertebral fracture when you just slipped while sitting on the chair and a very small thing actually ended up causing a fracture oh, no. because your bone mineral density is already so low so wake up today this is so important because i feel like um i mean this is not a lesson i was ever given when i was younger na ki yeah. as a woman as you know a person with this kind of genitalia with this kind of hormones you have to be more proactive about your bone health and you have to care more about it matlab suna to sabne hai ki calcium supplement kha lo but iska science kya hai iska logic kya hai we never really explained that in detail Since we are talking about hormones and the impact it has on your body, I feel like a very important conversation to have here is about something that's very sort of particular to my niche, and I feel like this is like if there if there were a Venn diagram of your niche and my niche, intersection is का ये होता because such a common question that um, if you masturbate, you will lose testosterone. <laughs> which will hurt your gym gains yeah. you know if you masturbate you will lose protein from your body and of course that's going to hurt your gym gains again so what what do you what's the science behind it does masturbation do orgasms these things do they really affect how your body processes protein keeps protein or functions with its testosterone what do you have to say about that this is very interesting and we'll divide it into two parts we've got masturbation and orgasm and we're talking about a protein and b testosterone now when it comes to protein the male masturbation ejaculate will have a insignificant amount of protein uh, you probably have to masturbate 1000 times a day or 1000 times a week for it to even <laughs> reach a significant amount which otherwise also can be supplemented with your diet or whatever it is but it's it's irrelevant you're not going to possibly be able to masturbate uh, to cause any sort of uh, significant protein loss so that is to completely out of the window aapko gym bros please take note absolutely <laughs> hilana hai hilalo <laughs> Hashtag #hilalo fir uthalo <laughs> masturbate and then lift okay now moving on to <laughs> moving on from there to the second part which is testosterone and this is interesting because you may have noticed and this is especially the men who have actually masturbated and reached climax and then they go on to lift and they feel a decrease in their energy and they think it's testosterone related that's where you're wrong what you need to understand is that when your emotions are at a high when you are at a point of your sexual arousal your prolactin levels increase your dopamine increases after ejaculation those come down and that is why you're getting a sense of tiredness and fatigue which is letting you to believe that testosterone is the culprit please take note there are enough studies that have been conducted where men have actually been subjected to masturbation followed by workouts and testosterone is not the culprit testosterone kam nahi hone wala hai it is not going to affect your muscle gain it is not going to affect your muscle loss so go ahead do as you please do as you wish however you will get a perceived sense of fatigue and tiredness post masturbation and this has been seen but this is not due to testosterone it is due to other things does this mean that i am saying don't masturbate before lifting absolutely not this can be absolutely subjective person to person be there are those who have done it and they go ahead and train it will not affect your workout routine it will not affect the amount you can lift it will not affect the amount of muscle you can gain or lose it is just a sense of tiredness and that is because of prolactin and dopamine it's not because of testosterone 
I love this. I feel like this is such a good thappad in the faces of people who keep making up these nonsensical non facts, and you know, it's like. Basically, ज्ञान मत पी लो यार इट्स नॉट करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली सो थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर सो मच फॉर दैट वंडरफुल एंड इनसाइसिव आंसर एंड आई फील लाइक दैट एड सो मच टू दिस क्लटर एंड नॉइज ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स एंड सो मच ऑफ दिस वंडरफुल कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स गेट लॉस्ट इन दिस अमाउंट ऑफ मिस इन्फॉर्मेशन नॉइज दैट्स देयर ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड आई फील लाइक अन अदर थिंग दैट्स रियली पॉप्ड अप इन द पास टू इयर्स एस्पेशली आई मीन यू नो लिविंग इन दिस post covid era separate from the before times um one thing we've seen is that we just BC not bc is before covid now before covid that's real bc <laughs> new history new history <laughs> and um one of the things that we see so much is we don't get enough exercise we don't get enough outside time because we're all stuck to our screens so um how do you propose and like what what would be your suggestion for people who are still not getting enough exercise or maybe not able to go to the gym or maybe not wanting to go to the gym or things like that no definitely uh, there was a time when uh, people thought the screen light gives them vitamin d it's actually sunlight ayyo nahi ye mazak tha hai pj tha sorry listen i would believe anything i would believe anything <laughs> yeah. you know on a tangent i saw something about butthole sunning and yeah and okay. like there's actually people who have a collective and they lay out in the sun like they, they part their ass cheeks like that so okay. their butthole is exposed to the sun and they say it's naturally testosterone badhta hai aur vitamin d absorption better hota hai wow i wish i was making this up but then i saw these pictures of like you know like hundreds of people just like standing there in the sun with their ass cheeks parted it's so strange <laughs> Since we're on vitamin D, can I tell you something very cool about vitamin D? Yes, always. Okay, so obviously everyone knows that sunlight is a great source of vitamin D. The funny part is, and since uh, this is now in the news currently that Delhi and Mumbai's air quality is so poor, the pollution levels are so high. There are actual studies that have now come out saying that you're in cities like Mumbai and Delhi, you're probably not getting. vitamin d from the sunlight because the layers of pollution are so high that they are blocking the rays from hitting your skin and your, for your skin to actually absorb the vitamin d so for anyone in an urban city who's moving around between 10 to 2 thinking this is my walk just to get vitamin d you're probably not getting enough vitamin d just thought i should tell you that that's like a really cool sunscreen. new thing yes so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, <laughs> no but getting back to your question we've had so many issues post covid because right from kids uh, spending excessive time on their screens to everyone in the you know early 20s or mid 20s early 30s population who is either studying or they are uh, you know just working long hours in front of a screen whether you are working or you are you know just consuming health influencer content on social media <laughs> which we really advocate no i'm just kidding <laughs> but uh, there's so many problems that have happened because they've just been in those particular postures for long long durations of time they've not gotten out they've not uh, just joined a gym or taken some sort of physical activity which they would have done probably before covid so this is for people of all age group and you know the message out there is that just get up and move you know there's a lot of talk about neck pains back pains and a lot of issues because people are seated in a particular position you know the latest research actually isn't in favor of a lot of posture correction techniques or in favor of a lot of fancy equipment to really improve your posture the latest research actually says that you will have postural problems when you are staying in a particular position for long durations of time so the problem isn't ki aapka neck flexed hai aur aapka back bent hai aur aap baithe ho that is you know told that you have to be with your shoulders upright your chest out your neck straight the problem is that you are in that position for a really long time so the idea is to get up every one hour and actually move yourself confuse your body free up those muscles just release all, all of that tension and you'll actually realize that you won't be suffering from these nagging pains aches and in turn postural problems now taking it one step ahead is actually going out and exercising actually i have a question right there i'm sorry sure. to stop you but one of the things that i've heard very very commonly in like going out and exercising is ki bachcho ko gym nahi jana chahiye <laughs> you know that you know mothers get really worried about yeah. you know especially sending their sons to the gym ki um it's not a good idea it's going to affect your height it's going to affect your growth things like that so what's the si- is there any science behind so, this so you know this is something that really annoys me because whenever i go to the gym i don't see anyone below the age of 18 you know they are, the the parents are very into sending them for tennis coaching swimming 
classes and football classes all of that is good but why can't they lift weights so you know you really need to understand and this goes towards you know growth plates your growth plates are basically present at the ends of your long bones in your body and they are responsible for eventually your height growing abhi logo ko lagta hai ki agar wo weight lifting karenge to unka height stunt ho jayega they will not really grow any more this is absolutely false jo natural progression hai aapka growth plate ka aapke bones ke growth ka that is going to continue irrespective the issue occurs when you do it with a bad form or bad technique and you get an injury to that growth plate when you injure the growth plate that is when it can affect the growth of that long bone and hence your height but your growth plate can be injured in a road accident also in the fan falling over it also in getting injured while playing that tennis also while playing while football also. also exactly to aisa nahi hai ki wo aap gymming karoge usse aapka growth plate ko issue hoga so my advice will be to everyone out there please incorporate weight training as much as possible i know it's not the first time i've said this in this talk but that's how big an advocate i am for it take proper care in terms of a fitness trainer take help उसमें कुछ देर नथिंग रॉन्ग इन इट टेक प्रॉपर एडवाइस टेक प्रॉपर गाइडेंस वेन यू फॉलो द राइट फॉर्म एंड द राइट टेक्निक आपको इंजरी नहीं होगी जिस वे यू गो फॉर टेनिस कोचिंग वहां कोच आपको हेल्प करता है जिम में आपको फिटनेस ट्रेनर हेल्प करेगा सो येस किड्स बिलो द एज ऑफ एटीन एब्सोलूटली कैन गो टू द जिम एब्सोलूटली कैन लिफ्ट वेट्स एंड डू रेजिस्टेंस ट्रेनिंग एंड एवरी ईयर दैट यू डीले स्टार्टिंग इट इज अयर टू लेट फैंटेस्टिक आई लव हाउ मच वजन यू वेडेड टू देट ट्रेनिंग I'm not even ashamed of this terrible <laughs> joke. <laughs> But no, honestly, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure having you here and busting these myths for us and talking about these wonderful things in a science-backed manner, which I think is often something that's missing, you know. And yeah. that's the whole intent behind this whole podcast, so that we bring voices of reason and voices of science who have the passion. and you know put wasan in their weight training talk <laughs> thank you so much for being here manan it's been a pleasure thank you so much for having me it was an uh, absolute delight and i really hope uh, hashtag pehle hilao fir uthao becomes a t-shirt dude we should do it done. let's do it that this is the merch you were talking about <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> <laughs>